This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. Hi, I'm Sonny Santana, and this is your 219 News Now. As most of us in the region know, Crown Point has become a major focal point for sports tourism. Our downtown ice rink, domes, hotels, restaurants, and baseball and softball fields attract players and fans from across the Midwest. But that doesn't mean the city forgets about local players. Parks director Jeannie Burgess appeared on the Think Park show on Jet TV and told host Chuck Gardner this. Under new mayor, Pete Land, um, we this year completed, uh, we turfed the infield for six fields um, with the help uh, from a grant from the Dina Barber White Foundation. So we're constantly making improvements and, you know, making it better. Um, our in-house girls softball league, uh, between our travel league and our in-house league in summer and fall, we uh, were able to provide fields and, and a, a safe and great place to play for just under 1,400 girls this year. The revival of the Bank Calumet building in downtown Hammond has given hope for another historic bank in the city. Developers are investing $24 million in the Bank Calumet to make 100 apartments. Now, there's hope that something could be done with the abandoned State Bank of Hammond building in the 5400 block of Calumet Avenue. It has vaulted ceilings and was designed by the same architect who did Comiskey Park. Councilman Dave Warpool toured the facility and said it would make a nice store or a restaurant. The former Brums Blumen Barn is moving to St. John. David Gerlach bought one of the region's oldest gift shops in 2020 from the Brum family. He said his lease hasn't been renewed and that he'll move south down US 41 in January and rebrand as BLVD by Blumen Barn. 45th Street Partners LLC bought the shopping center where Brum's Bloom and Barn was and invested $325,000 in renovations. Bloom and Barn manager Aaron Schloss says that the developer plans to divide the Brum storefront into two separate spaces to lease out. And in sports, this weekend we will have plenty of action from both PNW and CCSJ for your viewing pleasure. Friday at 7, the PNW women's basketball team will take on Hillsdale College and the GLIAC GLVC crossover, and on Saturday at 3, the Pride face Tiffin. The CCSJ men's basketball team will meet Michigan Dearborn at 2.30. At 11 a.m., you can catch the Crimson Wave Sprint football team take on Bellarmine. On Sunday, the PNW hockey team will be in action at 5 and 8 p.m., and last but certainly not least, the Pride's men's soccer team battles Saginaw Valley State at 1 p.m. for the GLIAC championship. You can catch all of that right here on Jet TV. To read more on these stories, head to NWI.com. I'm Sonny Santana, and this was your 219 News Now.